It's called self-defense, and that's all we're talking about here. Self-defense. All's quiet now. Stay around the corner. It's a me, but the letter. Possibly. Pardon me. Cher, baby, so nice to see you. Sorry. Losing my mother was one of the hardest things I've ever been through. But in truth, if I hadn't gone through that, Witness what they've done to her, I'd probably be as blind to the world as it is. Maybe you should worry about that. Hold on there. him out. Okay, then where you want to look? Over here. 
Another body. Running for cover. Oh. Never should have come here. Where are you hiding? Back me up, boys. I'll flush him out. Three fucking soap. Oh, you're so fucking done. In my sights. How about a hand here? He's gone. Means I'm done. When I find you, you're fucking dead. Don't stop looking for it. God damn it. We gotta... They'd have killed your ass anyway. Need you guys to secure the smuggling operation at the warehouse. Lincoln Clay convince Thomas Burke, Vito Scaletta, and the woman known as Cassandra to work together. He called a sit-down. He told them to meet him at an old plantation house in the bayou. When he had them all in the same room, he laid out how they were going to take down Marcano. Lincoln could be very persuasive.
Hey, Lincoln, that big gecko threw me out of my ass. Greco's in that building at the end of the block. A lot of whoas in there. Probably face down a pussy right now. You got any muscle with him? Yeah, a couple of meatheads. I'll go around the front, you take the back. He tries to run, grab his ass. Nobody kills that prick but me. Fuck. Those are Marcano's guys. Cut, suck. Come on, back to the car, you drive, I'll cover us. Fuck, if that little prick gets away. are closing in. Hey, get the door. Yeah. Come on. Code 3-5, suspicious person and vehicle. Responding you to defend. Oh, it's now... Shack in the back. And as for you, have a little dignity, Christ. Help! Somebody fucking help! help! Watch out for cops. Don't want to get pulled over with this asshole in the back seat. Whew, shit. <laughs> for a couple of years there, I really thought I might be done with all the Jimmy Cagney bullshit. But here I am. Funny. I kind of figured you for more than Edward G. Robinson type. <laughs> Look at you, kid. You know, God's got a sense of humor, too. It's sick as shit, but that motherfucker's got one.
nothing. You do nothing. You were getting ready to fucking kill me. I was just doing what Uncle Sal told me to do. Nah, that fuck never liked me. I get it. But this? You never tried anything like this before. I know. I know. Come on, Mikey. Why do you want me gone all of a sudden? He said you were a carpet bagger. Never should have been down here in the first place. <laughs> you want me to keep going? You got nine more. Fuck! Listen, Jesus, he was worried you knew about the casino. And you were gonna play up to Leo and the commission. What casino? Answer the question. Uncle Sally's. You, you, you see that construction across the lake? He's building a casino over there. He wants to go legit. Turn this city into Las Vegas. Gambling's illegal. Uh, yeah, no shit, it's illegal. Uh, which is why he's paid a bunch of money to get the lost chain. Who else is involved in this? I don't know. Uh, I don't know, I swear it! <laughs> Look, I... I told you what you wanted to know. You're gonna let me go now, right? Yeah, sure. <laughs> Stupid fucking prick. I'll clean this mess up. No reason for you to stick around. Remember our deal. I'm expecting to cut of everything you bring in. Yeah, I know how this shit works. You'll get your money. There's a woman named Alma. Helps me out sometimes. Cuban. Mean as fuck. She talked to us, see if she needs anything. Might be an easy way to bring in some extra money. Where's she at? At the warehouse. All right. What are you gonna do with him? Fish gotta eat like everyone else. At what point did you become aware that Sal Marcano wanted to build a casino north of the city? Pretty early on. Michael Greco told Lincoln about it. And Lincoln Clay's plan was to specifically target various entities related to Marcano's casino plan? Between the bribes he was paying out to get gambling legalized and the money needed to pay off the commission, Sal was stretched pretty thin. So Lincoln used that to his advantage. Forced Sal into making some extremely hard decisions. Decisions that would limit his options. I'm telling you, we make twice as much bread moving heroin as we would from a stupid fucking casino. Maybe three times. This ain't about the money. <laughs> You're joking, right? All I ever heard from you is, don't give me that goddamn excuses, you understand? You paid me what's fucking old. You think this is a game, son? And it's my fault for playing along with you. We're not setting you straight. But it's not a game. This shit wears on you, grinds you down. I ain't had a decent night's sleep in 43 years. And then after Lucho, shit. Well, hey, we got the cocksuckers who did that. Every last one of them. Yeah, and your uncle's still dead, ain't he? You think sitting in that chair makes you special, huh? Somehow puts you above all the bullshit. Well, it's the opposite. All it does is paint a giant goddamn bullseye on your forehead. There's a price to be paid for all this, you understand? And I'm tired of paying it. But mainly, I'm worried I'm gonna get a phone call telling me you're dead in a gutter somewhere. What do you expect me to do, huh? Work the front door? Glad hand folks, as they come on in, maybe give them a quick slap on the ass. You run it with me. And here, after a few years, after I know everything's settled down, you'll take over. Find yourself a nice woman. Give me some fucking grandkids. Sound boring as fuck. It's the only way, son. The world is changing. Used to be people knew their place. Now everybody's screaming about equality. And now they all deserve a slice of the pie. Niggas, mix, gooks, you name it. Our way of doing things won't work in a world like that. Yeah. You come to me with something like this, Lou, you better be goddamn sure. Yeah.
Lincoln Clay is still alive. Fuck me. You think I forgot what you did? You can blame Marcana all you want, but it was your men who ambushed my us. My men were following orders. We got rules. Not my fucking problem that you people don't understand. Yeah, anymore. well, I'm about to make it your fucking problem. This shit is this then. Goddamn. If it ain't the city's favorite pot licking donkey, Thomas Burke. The fuck did you just say to me? Put the gun down, Burke. It's gonna take all four of us to bring down Marcana, so I don't want any more of this stupid bullshit. Bring down Marcana? These two used to work for Marcana. And this one? Do you know how many of my men this canard killed because Marcana told him to? Fuck him, and fuck you if you think I'm ever gonna trust him. Hey, these get the two. fuck out there, there's no sweat off my ass. You don't trust him? Good. Because I don't trust any of you. That doesn't change the fact that I destroyed Barbieri's operations, killed Doucette and those other redneck motherfuckers, and saved Joe ass from Greco's men. So here's what you need to decide right fucking here now. Either fall in line or get the fuck out. Just know, second you step out that door, your name's getting added to my list right beneath Marcano's. Now, if we're all done acting like goddamn children, let's go over the plan. In order to bring down an organization the size of Marcano's, we need to eliminate the people at the base and work our way up. It's the same thing I did not. <laughs> I know the military filled your noggin with all manner of tactics and schemes, but let's not overthink this shit. See if we go out to his house and shoot him. Shouldn't take more than an hour or so, not pending on traffic. And what you think gonna happen after? Everybody else just gonna lay down and die, you stupid ass motherfucker. Oh, Cassandra's nice. right. Just killing Marcano doesn't get us anywhere. One of his brothers will take over and we're right back where we started. So, first, we go after his lieutenants. Then, once they're killed, we seize their territory and move on to the Capos. Once the lieutenants and the Capos are killed, Marcano will be isolated and alone. And that's when we go after him. Hold on, what happens to those territories we get from Marcano's guys? Once it's in our hands, I'll decide who gets to run the day-to-day. -day. I give you a district, you get the rackets and everything else. But I'm also counting on you to hold it. Keep that bastard from reclaiming it. One last thing. Y'all know that building that's going up across the lake? Hmm? It's building a casino. Marcano's constructing this so we can go legit. All his money's tied up into that thing, so 
Once he figures out what we're up to, it'll limit his options. More importantly, it's an emotional attachment. Emotions make people irrational. Greedy. So that's where we hit him. Right in the goddamn heart. Hey, nice speech. Think they bought it? Don't care. They're all too greedy or pissed off of Marcano to back out now. At least until one of them decides to try the crown on for size. Well, if it comes to that, I'll handle it. The photos were a nice start and all, but I'm gonna need some actionable intel on those lieutenants. A place of business, where I can find them, you name it. The dossiers are nearly complete. I'll be ready to move when you are. I was also able to recruit some concerned citizens who are more than happy to share what they know about Sal's coalition of WAP assholes. Information on how to contact them will be included with the other intel. Appreciate it. Sure you don't need a ride? Oh, I do my own driving. Ooh. And the uh, systematic killing of Marcano's capos and lieutenants, that was part of the plan. Well, you're playing fucking patty cake, Christ. Look, you want to bring somebody down, you destroy the foundation they're standing on. It's the same basic op we ran over in Nam. Lincoln, come pick me up. There's something we need to talk about. This about Marcano? No, it's something else altogether. Just get here. All right. See you soon. You hungry? Because I just ate. Then I guess I'm good. I could go for some ice cream later on. Yeah, sure, I'll keep that in mind. What's this all about? We're meeting a friend at a Cuban restaurant in the French ward, a place called Villa del Mar. I'll fill you in on the way. Let's go. This friend with me, is it someone I know? Nah, ex-company pal Robert Marshall. Has a line on an asshole we worked with before your time. Man by the name of Connor Aldridge. I remember the name. Two of you had some kind of fallen out. The fallout would suggest there was a time when we were in. You're dragging my ass around town because of it. Something had to go down. Look, all you need to know is that Aldridge is a traitorous cocksucker who got good men killed. And if he's in New Bordeaux, I promise you it's not for the booze and cheap blowjobs. Never is.
Your taste in music leaves a lot to be desired. Yeah? But when I want to know what you think about my music, I'll smack you upside the head. I'm sorry, I can't listen to this anymore. Much better. Marshall. Hey. Sorry to keep you ladies waiting. Robert Marshall. Johnny Boy and I work together at the company. Excuse me. You know, I gave you a shot to sit in the back seat and you didn't take it. Oh. Ungrateful fuck. Uh, sorry about that. Marshall here is one of New Bordeaux's finest bounty hunters. Is that a cattle prod? Works every time. Although it does create a hell of a mess when my skips shit themselves. Well, I keep that in mind. So what did you learn about Aldridge? Little Birdie told me he's been sniffing around our favorite Cuban bartender, Horatio Balmana. Balmana? Are you sure? Afraid so. If Aldridge is such a big deal, why is he exposing himself over a bartender? Therein lies the question, my dark-skinned compadre. Let's go. Looks like someone was intent on keeping folks inside. Let's get in there. Gee, God damn. No more plantains for me. Hello? Anyone here? What kind of sick... Fuck shoots up a birthday party. Aldridge doesn't see the world the way we do. There is no order and there are no rules that he won't break. That's why I had to get away from him. And that life. Are hey, you sure about Marshall? Man seems kind of tilted. Tilted? Nah, he's good. Hey, this uh, fella down here is still alive. Oh, wait, no, that's, uh, that's his brains. Hey, this fella down here has got his brains and his frijoles. Okay, yeah. So maybe he's a little off. Horatio Balmana. <sighs> Shit. Really? What? It's an Upman. Balmana was a pilot in the Cuban Revolutionary Armed Forces. Back in November 62, the Navy found him and a couple of his pals floating in the Gulf, and they brought him in. Which is where you come in, I suppose. I was already in Nam, but I heard about it. Almana spilled everything he knew about Castro. We planted a news story about the crew being found dead. And that poor bastard ended up here. 
attending bar. The way this hand's cut up, Aldridge knows what he's doing. He was trying to get Balmana to talk. You all right? Huh? Yeah, I'm fine. Yeah! I got him. Oh. Questions for you. How'd that running work out for you, motherfucker? Stupid shit. I need you to get the Come here. Don't kill me, man. Don't kill me. Why the fuck you running? Have you seen you? Fair point. Come on. I got someone who wants to talk to you. It's damn good bourbon, huh? Well, is that enough? Then you're smoking. Goddamn right it is. It's moving up in the world. <clears throat> uh, who the fuck are you guys? Uh, 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 uh. What's your name? Fernando. La gente me llama. Huh? People call me Chucky. You let people call you Chucky? <laughs> Why would you? You know, forget it. There's a dead man upstairs named Balmana. Yes, so? So, the man we're after is the one who shot the living shit out of this place. What's that got to do with me? You're not too bright, are you, Chucky? Oh, fuck! Oh. You're the sole survivor of a goddamn massacre. That's what it's got to do with you. So, tell us what you heard. All right, all right. Dami, the man who came in here, he was asking about a how. A how? Uh, what house? I, I don't know. Balmana refused to say anything, and then he started screaming. Then he gave him a name. Pedro. Pedro Pong. Say it again so I can hear it. Pedro. Pedro Pong. Jesus Christ. And that was oh! it. He, he, he told another man he was with that they need to get the crew to the plane as quickly as possible. That's everything I hear. Oh, my mother. <laughs> that mean anything to you? Pedro Pond's a code name for a CIA safe house here in the city. Can you keep our pal here on ice back at your place? Sure thing. All right, let's go check out your new digs, princess. Oh. Two of you find yourselves in need of sniper support. Hit me up on the radio. Adios, Chucky. Stand up. <laughs> 